Hi guys, it's me, SMR Escape. I decided uh, for this video to show my face. Yes, I am a ginger. I am a redhead. <laughs> um, I figured this would be best because you could kind of like put my personality with my face instead of, you know, just staring at the wall or something or me filming that. And then plus, um, I got a comment one time on a video, which I deleted, about um, my um, area right here, and I did not appreciate it, so I didn't want you guys staring at my, um, my chest for like however long this video is going to be. So this is my Q&A video. Uh, I do not know how long it's going to be, but I do know I'm going to try to make it kind of relaxing, but then... You know, I don't want to be too relaxing because you guys won't get to see, like, my personality, I guess you would say. But, um, and also, I meant to get this out sooner, but, um, I had a little accident, really. I don't know. I forgot, um, like, yesterday. Um, I got really sick because I didn't eat. And so my blood sugar dropped really bad to the point where I almost passed out. And so I was just letting myself rest a little bit. But I'm back in full swing. Um, I'm fine right now. So hopefully, yeah, I can get some information out about myself that you guys are interested in. And then answer my questions. Or your questions, not mine. I didn't ask the questions. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay. For the first question, or set of questions, um, is from Derek Michael. Hi Derek! I talk to you a lot on Facebook and YouTube. And so, I mean, he asked me quite a few questions. And I also have them pulled up on my phone, and I have the actual video on my laptop over here. Just in case I missed some. I had missed some. Just in case. So. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, um, he asked, who's your favorite president? Um, that's a hard one. I would have to say, if I had to choose my favorite president, it would either be Ronald Reagan or Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I don't know why, but they are. But I also, like... I do like Jimmy Carter, not really during his presidency, but more like what he did after and before. Like he was a very humanitarian kind of person, which I really liked about him, but as a president, he is alright. So I'm gonna go with either FDR or Ronald Reagan. Okay, best movie you ever saw? Um, more recently, there was two I saw, Ted, which was a really funny movie, I love it. I love Family Guy and all the stuff that... Seth MacFarlane does. I love those kind of stuff. And then, I'm going to jump, be jumping on the bandwagon here, but um, I saw Les Mis, but I was on that bandwagon before it even was considered to be a movie. So I'm like the like Broadway kind of like fangirl of that thing. But that was really good, but there is, I, I could talk probably for the next three hours about what I didn't like and what I did like, what they could have done better kind of thing. So yeah. Oops. Alright. And then, um, another movie is, I saw this a couple years, years ago with my grandmother and it's a movie called Powder. It's about an albino, um, guy who's like, like God's angel. There's two ways you can view it. You can view it in, in a religious way or in a scientific way. And I see both, so it's really good. Uh, favorite sport? <laughs> uh, my favorite sport, I, don't, I used to do swimming when I was younger. Um, I like football. If we're just talking about like competitive, like more team sports, I like football. Um, I went to all my high school football games, and I've been to a few college football games, which they're f better in, like, 
person, I guess, when you're in the stadium because you know you feel all that energy and you know team spirit and you're kind of like watching it on TV. You're like, eh, it's okay. Well, at least for me. I'm oh, I meant to say American football. Okay. Favorite daily comic comic strip. I should probably put my son on the phone silent. Um. If I ever get the newspaper, I'm more drawn to the Calvin and Hobbes, just because I grew up um, with my brother. Oh, I didn't really grow up with my brother. My brother's a lot older than I am, but um, my brother had all like the books and stuff that they had come out with, and he would leave them laying around the house, and I just, you know, I would read them, and so I like those. And we had a cat. Well. We had a cat, a cat, we had a cat, let's just say. She kind of just showed up at our house one day, and so we started taking care of her, even though we're all allergic to her, and we named her Hobbs. Well, my brother did, at least. First whisper you ever heard. That's a tough one. Um, uh, well, the first, first whisper was probably, um, Let Me Be Your Fantasy. But um, I think her username now is Ariel SMR. She does a combination of both sounds and whispers. She's the first one I remember watching. But then I would also watch ASMR Massage. And that's how I really like, found this community. Um, I, got, I think I got a few of these. When was my first... Um, tingling experience um let's see there I've always had in my entire life especially when you know everybody gets them well I get them at least a lot when people play with my hair and I get them a lot for music and I remember there was this video that I watched when I was Ooh, maybe 10 or 11 and it was like somebody um, doing kind of like a makeup tutorial like it was like the behind of the scenes see how they did this person's makeup kind of thing and I watched it over and over again and they also had a part of that doing trying on wedding dresses I don't remember what movie it was but and the way the guy like held the fabric oh my god it was so tingly and I just kept watching it and watching it and like I lost the DVD I don't know what happened to it. So that's like the one I remember the most. Okay. Do you get ting uh do you get tingles from your own videos? Um no because it's uh for me, I know it's me and it's kinda it's not weird to watch, but it's more like um I know what I make I know what to expect and stuff, so I, it's not like surprising to me and plus I don't like the sound of my own voice so yeah, that's probably why too um his last question is why do you love making these videos um I love making these videos one for you guys second um it's kind of one of those things it's just like um what am I saying okay sorry there's probably gonna be some bloopers in this video um one of those things where it's kind of relaxing to do because I get like I have a lot of school work and I just kind of take a break from it and make videos and stuff and take a break from studying or you know and sometimes I just do it because I'm bored that's how I kind of started this channel is because I was I've been watching these videos for a while and I um just decided to create a channel and just put up a video to see what happens and sure enough this is where I am today. Alright so those are all the questions from Derek. Okay so the next set of questions is from Mark Xavier. Alright first question is like what got you interested in making ASMR videos? Like I said a little bit before just kind of I don't know I was kind of bored and also I kind of wanted to contribute because there are some things that I liked personally, but there weren't too many videos of, and I wanted, you know, people who are kind of like me to have those, more of those videos. And then, 
Another thing is, um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Mm -hmm. Another reason why I got interested in it is just because I like the community. It's one of the nicest, like, with all the people content creator-wise and the true, like, ASMR followers. Really nice community and it's small. Not, I mean, there's, you know, those trolls and haters and I'm like, whatever. I mean, I've had a few of those comments, but I'm just like, well, I'm just going to delete your comment. Or if it's a person, like I know my one of my first videos, I got a comment. It's like, what are you doing? This is so weird. I stopped watching this after like 30 seconds or whatever. I don't remember the exact comment, but I was just like, oh, she does not know the joy of ASMR. So... Okay, next question. What are your, some of your favorite triggers and experiences? Um, my favorite triggers have to be tapping. I love tapping. Oh my gosh, I love tapping. Um, whispering, like from binaural kind of whispering. And I do like personal um, attention, I guess. And then also um, some experiences. Like I remember... When I was like uh, 15 or so, so that was a couple, that was like maybe four years ago, I um, went to the Clinique makeup counter with my mom, and the woman did my makeup, and she, you know, she put the brushes on my face, they felt so nice, and it was just, it was a tingling <sighs> sensation, like, I call them, before I knew that it was like tingling, I called it like, um, chills, like, you know, like you get chills down your spine. I just thought they were like chills, like you know when you get really cold and you just kind of like chill like that. I thought that's kind of what it was, but yeah. Um, oops. What are some of your favorite movies? Like I said, um, I listed some of those, but then um, my favorite favorite all time movies are um, A Christmas Story, um, Titanic, and. Uh, my Big Fat Greek Wedding. I love that movie. Not a lot of people will watch that movie, but like, it's one of those movies that, um, if I don't know what to watch, that's the movie I'm going to watch because I love that movie. And I also love it because one of my, um, I should remember this, one of my first tingling sensations was in that movie. It was like the very intimate, not sexual intimate, but, um, moment the, before the wedding day where it was the grandma and the mom and the daughter and it was just the way that the grandma presented the little box of stuff on that day. It placed something on the daughter's head. It was just, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Oops, I ex Oops, what am I doing? Sorry guys, I accidentally closed my questions. Alright, favorite musical artist? Uh, I know... Hold on. It. I wrote a list because I remember I remembered this question, so I'll be back. Okay, so I found the list. I'm sorry if the oh, the camera angle is a little different. It's because I had to get my desk, which is behind me. And I remember um, Dylan, I A K, Dream S M R. Um, he asked me um, a music question, but I'll, I'll just list my favorite musical artist. Um, I had to think about this because I listened to a lot of different things. Um, Josh Groban. Oh my gosh, he has like the voice of an angel. Oh my god, I love him. If I was to marry any singer, it'd be him. Um, the Celtic Women. I love their music. They do a lot of, um, well, Celtic music, obviously, but you know, they do a lot of, um, reprise, not reprises, they do a lot of, uh, already out there music. I don't remember what you call it. Um, Sarah Brightman. I love her. That's what my dad listened to when I was growing up, is her, so that's what I kind of grew up listening to. And yeah, another artist I listened to when I was growing up. Um, she's more new age music, so it's more like relaxing, and that's what I listen to when I study or do homework, if I'm not watching like ASMR videos or um, Netflix or Hulu. Alright, um, The Used. I know it's really random. I like, sometimes I like screamo music. It just depends. They're not really screamo, but I do like some music like that. The All-American Rejects. 
that guy is hot. Lead singer. Can't remember. I think his name is Tyson. He's hot. Um, Celine Dion. Another artist my dad listened to a lot when I was growing up. So I just kind of grew up with her music. And it's like when I listen to her music, it just reminds me of my childhood. And Andrea Bocelli. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. He's the line opera singer. Not really opera. Singer. Oh my god. Just like Josh Gerben. Voice of an angel. And I missed one, I think. Ronstein. Ronstein, excuse me. Took German, I should know this. They're a pretty interesting group of people, I will say. I like their music. Um, my German teacher um, liked to play a lot of their music for us, so. Yeah, alright. So those are my favorite musical artists. Hmm. Oh, that's last from him.